Welcome to Georgia Southern University. My name is Maria Rampali and I am a junior music education major from Atlanta, Georgia. Hello, my name is Jackson Murray and I'm a senior music education major from Charleston, South Carolina. We were founded in 1906 as a first district agricultural and mechanical school, but since then we've gone through a lot of name changes. We became the South Georgia Teachers College and then we became the Georgia Southern College. Until 1990, we got our name that we still have today, Georgia Southern University. Located right behind us is the Marvin Pittman Building. Marvin Pittman was our sixth president here at Georgia Southern University. He tried to integrate the school, but the governor at the time fired him from this position. Later, he was reinstated from a new governor of Georgia. Now, it is home to the president that we have today, Dr. Kyle Marrero. He is our 17th president here at Georgia Southern University. He is also a music education major. We are standing outside Lewis Hall, which is home to the admissions office and the new student and family programs office. This is also the welcome center where when you come visit us for an in-person tour, you will start right here. Now, we are at Sweetheart Circle. Sweetheart Circle is our big part on campus. It got its name because back when the university first opened, the dormitories were not co-ed. So girls could not go into the boys' room, so they would hang out in here, hence the name Sweetheart Circle. And with that, a legend came up. The legend says that in you, if you and your significant other walk around the park three times holding hands, you are meant to be married. But there's a catch to it. There is a right and a wrong way to walk the circle. And if you happen to walk it the wrong way, I am so sorry for you. <laughs> but also, so Sweetheart Circle has a lot of trees that you can hang up your Eno and read a book, watch a movie with your friends, or just play with your pets. And a fun fact about Sweetheart Circle that you might not hear really often is that we have a pygmy whale skeleton buried inside of the circle. And that is because one of our research professors buried it to decompose it. Unfortunately, he passed away before it was done and told nobody where the pygmy whale was buried. So if you find it, let us know. We're now walking up to Rosenwald Building, which is home to the Enrollment Services Office. Enrollment Services is our one-stop trip for any kind of transitional needs you have. So if you need anything involving financial aid, have any general questions about the university, or have any holds on your account that you have no idea how to get rid of, Enrollment Services is a great place for you to get all those questions asked and all of those problems solved. We also have a museum at campus. However, it's not a museum of Georgia Southern, it's a museum at Georgia Southern. There are three exhibits in the museum. One of them showcases a 60 million year old dinosaur fossil found right here in the area. Another is a history of the Southern region of Georgia. And then the third one is actually one that rotates every year. Currently, it is a showcasing of De Los Muertos. However, there are gonna be different exhibits throughout the years here at Georgia Southern. Now, behind us, we have Cone Hall. Cone Hall is home for the Student Accessibility Resource Center and also the Student Athlete Services. At the Student Accessibility Resource Center, or SARC, you can get any accommodations that you need to be as successful as you can in your classes. They can be extra time taken at SAMs or a private place to take them, headphones or a snack next to you in your classes. Also, if you are looking to get some volunteer hours and help students in need, you can volunteer to become a note taker for those students who are unable to take notes for themselves. And a good perk of that is that you get to help out a fellow student, but also you get to register for classes earlier than anybody else. Located behind Cone Hall is the baseball and softball fields. We are an NCAA Division I university and we compete in the Sun Belt Conference. For every athletic event, all students get in for free as long as you have your Eagle ID. We are now standing outside of Hanner Field House, which is where our men's and women's basketball team plays and our volleyball team. If you ever want to come here and watch our basketball or volleyball team beat Georgia State, this is the place to do it. Hanner also hosts a lot of guest speakers, some concerts, and graduation ceremonies are also hosted here. In terms of concerts, on May 4th in 1965, the Rolling Stones actually performed their first U.S. collegiate concert right here at Georgia Southern. Tickets only cost $2.50. Unfortunately though, the Rolling Stones were booed off the stage. Now we are at the Eatson House. The Eatson House homes the Honors College. The Honors College has a holistic style application which means that they won't only look at your grades, but they will also look at what activities you are part of, the organizations you do, and all of your involvement in general. Also, they will look at your um, essays and letters of recommendation by other professors. The Honors College is a really good place to be involved if you are interested in doing research with faculty members. 
your junior, your junior and senior year, you will be doing a thesis or capstone project that you will present before you graduate. The Honors College is also a good uh, place to be if you like smaller classes and lots of individual time with other faculty members. Here at Georgia Southern University, we have our very own planetarium. The planetarium is used as a fully immersive astronomy lab through the Department of Astrology and Physics. So any Georgia Southern University student can take a lab here at the planetarium. Also, we provide shows here at the planetarium open to all Georgia Southern University students and public and private school groups. So it's a pretty great place for a cheap date. Speaking of cheap date ideas, now we are at the Natural Sciences Building at the Tick Museum. We actually have the world largest curated tick collection and it is right here at Georgia Southern. It belongs to the Smithsonian Institution and it was given to us to home it and host it for all of our students to do research in it in 1990. We have over 1 million specimens. Our largest one was actually found in 1945 in Venezuela, which is also my home country. So very fun thing. So if you're interested in coming and doing some reachers looking at some ticks, this is definitely your place to go. We are here at the Williams Center, which is home to the Office of Student Activities. We have over 250 student organizations here at Georgia Southern. That ranges from book club type organizations to Greek life organizations. If you've gone through that list of 250 and you haven't found anything that interests you, you can start an organization by taking you and two friends and a faculty advisor to this office and boom, you've created an organization. This office also works with homecoming and putting on events for students and also working with the Eagle Experience and having things available for students the first weeks of classes and such as that. This office as well also hosts um, events right here in this building in terms of dances and other social events like that. The Williams Center also has the Career Advisement Center. So if you are a little confused about your major and don't know what to do about it, we have career advisors that can help you guide you through that process of figuring out what is the best option for you. We also have a professional closet. So if you have an interview but don't have appropriate clothes to wear, you can borrow some clothes for them and write a thank you note to the person who donated those clothes. And lastly, if you are a little bit nervous to have interviews, we have a mock interview set up in which you can just go and pretend you're having a real interview. So when you go into an actual interview, you can go and kill it. Now we are at the rotunda. So at the beginning of every semester, we have an organization fair. So all of our organizations will put a booth across the pedestrian. The pedestrian is a main walkway of campus. And then they will show you all of what they have to offer and how you can join and be involved at Georgia Southern. We also have out of campus businesses that come and do sales and advertisement. So you can check out different um, soccer teams and businesses around the area. But here at the Rotunda, we call it a space of free speech. And that is because uh, our students like going up there and dancing, singing, playing their instruments, even screaming their frustrations out, especially during finals and midterms. That seems very cathartic. And now uh, we're gonna go right here to our Russell Union and check what they have to offer. The Rosslyn Union is our epicenter of student life on campus. On regular days, you will see students hanging out, having lunch, doing homework, or even working. Behind us, we have the Office of Student Government Association. SGA is the bridge in between students and the president. So if you want to get involved with SGA, you can become a senator your first semester on campus. We also have a computer lab with a printing station. We have printing stations available all around campus. And every student, every semester receives 1,500 points of printing, which means that you can print up to 1,500 pages completely for free. So you don't have to worry about bringing a printer, toner, or paper. And lastly, we also have the Office of Leadership and Community Engagement. One of our organizations is called Surf 912. So if you are interested in doing community service to help our Statesboro and Savannah communities, you should totally go and check them out. We also have a couple of places to eat right here in the Student Union, one of those being Chick-fil-A. We love Chick-fil-A here at Georgia Southern University. It's what I like to call the place you don't want to be at 1 p.m. because the line will start at the counter and it's going to wrap itself all the way around towards an exit sign right here in the Union. So if you want to miss that Chick-fil-A line, you can also go to the Gus Smart. This Gus Smart location, we serve subs, we serve chicken nuggets and chicken um, wings. We also have pizza and a couple of snack options 
including some drinks and stuff like that. We also have a Starbucks located right here in the Union. So if you are like me and you love caffeine and you kind of need that boost in the morning, you can stop here right at 8 a.m. before that class and get your coffee. A fun fact too, this Chick-fil-A was the highest grossing Chick-fil-A in the United States at a time. Also in the Union, we have our theater. We do show movies here, free for students. However, the downside is the movie theater also doubles as a lecture hall, so you might have a class in there as well. But that is also found on the first floor here in the Union. So we are now coming up to the second floor of the Russell Union. Behind us is the second computer lab located in the Russell Union. Also on the second floor, there are some offices that you should know about, one of them being the Office of Military and Veterans Affairs. So if you or someone in your family has served in our military and you are using any VA benefits and you want to get all of the questions you have, want to learn how those benefits are used or anything like that, you can stop by the Military and Veterans Affairs office. Also, if you are interested in a career in the military after your time here at Georgia Southern, that is another great office for you to learn about what each branch does to serve us as a country. Located next door is the Dean of Students. The Dean of Students office is here to make sure that you succeed as a student. We That office has the biggest voice of advocacy for the students, making sure they work with the president and provost to make sure that you as a student will succeed and have opportunities here at, as a Georgia Southern student. At the second floor, we also have the Office of Fraternity and Sorority Life. Um, our Greek life, although they are a small percentage of our students in campus, they do so much for, for our university. So if you are interested in joining our fraternities and sororities, that is the place to ask all of those questions that you have. And lastly, we have the Office of Multicultural Affairs, and they have a lot of resources just to educate our students and prepare them to a diverse global society. We have the Minority Advisement Program that gives a mentorship opportunity for our minority students. We also have the Sisters with Vision and a Hispanic Leadership Association called OLA. So right outside of the Russell Union, we have the University Bookstore. At the University Bookstore, you can get all of the Georgia Southern merchandise that you wish, and it varies from shirts, hats, to a Georgia Southern waffle maker or Gus pillows. Uh, but you can also get all of the school materials that you need for your classes down to the pencil that you are going to use. So you don't have to worry, all of the materials you need for your classes are gonna be right here at the bookstore. We also have two bus routes on campus. They both go all around campus, so you don't need to worry about transportation. They are free to hop in and out as you wish. So in hot months or really cold winters, you can just hop on the bus and go around campus. If you need to get through campus a little bit faster, then you can rent the Lime Scooters. That is a cheap way to get through campus in about 10 minutes if you are late to class. You can download an app and just scan the scooter and just get around campus as you wish. So now we are at the Dining Covens. This is one of our two dining halls at Georgia Southern. Behind us, we have our ATMs. Uh, fair warning, if you have Bank of America or Truist, know that these are your ATMs in Statesboro. If you do need to go to a bank, you would have to go to Savannah, but it's only 45 minutes away and you can make a big trip out of it. Uh, we also have Eagle Card Services. That is where you can get your picture for your Eagle ID. And behind it, we have the University Postal Service. So all students that live in the residence hall will receive a P.O. box free of charge. So when they decide to order something online and have it delivered, they will put the P.O. box address and they can pick up their packages from there and they can mail stuff out as they need. Let's go check out the options at the Dining Commons. So here at the Dining Commons, we have a couple of options for you. Um, we have what's called signatures, so that's where you're gonna get a sandwich, salads, fruits, all of that kind of found in signatures. We have the traditions, so if you're looking for a home-cooked meal, you can go to the traditions and get that. It also serves breakfast in the morning, but if you want breakfast all day, you can hit up the Breakfast Club. We also have what's called the Georgia Southern Kick and Chicken Station, where you can get fried chicken, grilled chicken, baked chicken, all of that found at the same place. We have pizza every day, we got burgers every day, and then everybody's favorite stop, we have the dessert bar. So you got cookies, cakes, jello, all of that can be found there. At the Dining Commons, we have two meal plans for freshmen. We have the gold plan and the blue plan. The gold plan, you get unlimited swipe access, you get nine guest passes, nine 
um, to-go plates as well, and you get 300 dining dollars. Dining dollars can be used at any on-campus eating location. So you get 300 for the whole semester and it doesn't roll over. So you can use it at Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, all the Gus Smarts, and Market Street Deli, which is very cool. The blue plan has the exact same thing, just a little bit less. So unlimited swipes, um, seven guest passes, seven to-go plates, and 100 dining dollars. We are now standing outside of the dining commons, right next to our mascot, Gus. We technically have two mascots. We have Gus, the guy in the costume, and then we also have our live mascot, Freedom, who you'll see flying over the stadium and such like that. Next to Gus, behind me, we have our food truck. So if you've missed the operating hours of the dining commons and you're really hungry, on Sunday through Thursday from 9 to 11, you can hit up the food truck and take food to go. Next to where we are right now, we have Centennial Place. Centennial Place is one of our seven residence halls on campus. We offer apartment, suite, or communal stall um, residence halls. So you have plenty of options to choose of where you want to live. But if you want to check all of them out, you should go to gsuhousing.com. Located right behind me is the University Tech Corner. So if you need to purchase any new technology like a laptop, uh, iPad, headphones, anything like that, you can come to the Tech Corner and do that here. You can also, us being Apple certified, get your MacBooks repaired as well. Um, if you want any backpacks for your laptops, any kind of new technological needs, you can also get them here. We also have an online purchasing option available on the Tech Corner website. So seeing as we are music majors, we can't go without talking about the Foy Building. The Foy Building is home to the Fred and Dinah Gretsch School of Music. We just recently got named a School of Music and we're very excited that Fred and Dinah Gretsch down in Pooler um, supplied us with the name. So here we have vocal ensembles and instrumental ensembles. So my preference is vocal because that's my major. So we have three choirs here at Georgia Southern. One of them is audition based and the other two are open to anyone. Um, you don't have to be a major at all to be involved with these ensembles but if you like to sing or you want to learn how to sing, we would love to have you here at the vocal part of the School of Music. So for the instrumental part, we have a symphony orchestra that you can join even if you are not a music major. But if you would like to join a band, we have an university uh, wind ensemble and you can join and play your wind instrument just for fun. But also, if you would like to learn how to play the piano, we have classes available for non-majors and you can learn from the best professor in the School of Music. So right now we're walking on what's called the pedestrian. The pedestrian stretches the entirety of the main campus here at Georgia Southern. So you could walk from one end to the next in about 20 minutes um, and get to all your classes by walking on this street. Right now we are looking at our lakes. So um, our fifth president, President Wells, before he left the university, he decided to leave his mark on campus. So he set up to build this lake right here. He goes home that night and he tells his wife, you are not gonna guess what I'm gonna do. And she says, cool, what are you gonna do? So he tells her about the lake and she's like, okay, that's cool, what are you gonna name it after? And he says, duh, after me, President Wells. So President Wells uh, got kicked out of his room, slept on the couch, and he had a lot of time to think what happened. Um, and then it clicked. He comes back the next day and he told his engineers that he wanted to, big, to build another and bigger lake right here and he named it Lake Ruby after his wife. As we continue our walk down the pedestrian, we finally reach Lakeside. Lakeside is our second dining option here on campus. It is conveniently called Lakeside because it's beside the lake. Um, it is my personal favorite just because you can sit on the second floor of Lakeside and overview and eat your um, lunch while you watch ducks play around with each other and turtles and it's very cute. Um, in terms of food options, it's very similar to Dining Commons, not much difference. However, it has my favorite kind of food, Asian food, is also located here at Lakeside. So, as we continue down the pedestrian, um, some services I like to highlight that aren't located on the pedestrian is the Counseling Center. So every Georgia Southern student gets free access to 16 um, sessions here at Georgia Southern. That can be couples therapy, group therapy, or solo therapy here on campus. They also have therapy dogs, so if you're someone who loves puppies and wants to just hang out with puppies, de-stress from finals week, you can use one of your free 16 sessions there. At the Health Center, we also have a full-on clinic here on campus. So if you need a physical, if you need a prescription filled, you need to get your eyes checked. And just recently we found out we are getting a dentist here at Georgia Southern. So if you need to get teeth cleaned, um, get that cavity replaced, get those teeth brushed, anything like that, you can do that at our new dentist office here at the Health Center. 
We are now passing the new end building, which is home to the English department. So that's English 1101, 1102, also literature courses, world religions, all of that is found in the new end building. Behind it, we have the Paulson College of Engineering. The Gulf Stream was founded by Alan E. Paulson in Savannah, which is very cool. Now, we are at Parker College of Business. It used to be named College of Business Administration, but in 2018, Mr. Gregory Parker, the owner of the Parker's Convenience Stores um, around Statesboro, donated about $5 million to the university to create a coalition named Parker Scholars that allows our senior students who are majoring in business to go and travel and work with corporate uh, Parker to get that first-hand experience working for the company. So we renamed our building after him, so now we are the Parker College of Business. Being a student at Parker College of Business gives you the opportunity to explore different majors if you are unsure on what to major in. We offer accounting, finance, economics, information systems, supply chain management, uh, marketing, and management. So that way, if you like business but are not so sure what you want to major in, you can take a look at the different options that we offer and choose what is best for you. Behind us to our right, we have our nursing and chemistry building. It homes the School of Nursing, which is actually one of our most competitive programs at the university. Our students apply their junior year to be admitted as future um, stu um, nursing students. And across on the other side is the College of Education. The College of Education does a very good job at preparing the future educators of America and making sure that every Georgia Southern student that wants to pursue a career in education is ready to go. And we can't leave the pedestrian without talking about safety. You can also download an app called Live Safe. That way, if you are studying in the library late at night and you are not comfortable walking to your room by yourself, you can request an escort so then a police officer will come and walk with you to your hall. They can also track your location just to make sure that you are safe once you get to your room. Turn your location off just to let them know that you are all good to go and your home safe and sound. This is the Engineering and Research Building, which is actually the newest building on campus. It opened up of January of this year, 2021. It was built on a 135,000 square foot lot. It has 21 research labs and 25 educational spaces to include a renewable energy rooftop lab. This building gives students and faculty the opportunity to support um, current businesses and attract new companies by doing ground research, giving uh, pr uh, professors and faculty lots of resources to continue the projects like hands-on labs to track their progress and also giving them opportunities for innovation in any new projects that occur. We are now in the Information Technology Building, the IT Building for short. This is where the Information Technology majors have their classes. Located in this building, there's a couple places for you to eat to include another Gus Mart and Market Street Deli. So Market De Street Deli serves boar's head sandwiches, which are very good. And then for a side item, you can get what we call bagel fries. So basically it's a bagel chopped up, fried, and then they serve it with the sauce and it's very good. As you can see in the lobby of the IT Building, it's a great place for you and your friends to get a bite, study for classes, and kind of just hang out in between classes, which is really nice here at the IT building. We're now standing in the Interdisciplinary Academic Building, and if you don't feel like saying all that, you can simply say the IAB. The IAB is home to the Foreign Language Department, the History Department, and the Fashion Merchandise and Design Department, all found in this building. So a couple things about this building, there are a plethora of classrooms located in there. So some of them are gonna be more core class oriented, so you know, like those general history classes that most students have to take. Those are gonna have around 70 to 80 students in them, just because more students are gonna have to take that and then there's also lecture halls in this class, which is gonna be 200 plus students all in one building. However, once you move into your major specific classrooms, class sizes tend to get a little bit smaller, which is really, really nice. Um, another fact about this building is you can see work from some of the students found all throughout this building, which is very nice to look at and see what our students are doing in terms of interior design, um, excavations from historical sites and stuff like that, which is very nice. Now. We are at the Zach Henderson Library. This is our library on campus and it has four floors. 
The noise level in each floor changes. Right now we are in the second floor, which is our main study area. The third floor is a half quiet, half loud space. And the fourth floor, it's a fully quiet space. That helps our students who have a hard time concentrated with noise, have a nice and quiet space to study, especially during midterms and finals when the library gets really packed. Our first floor has the Academic Success Center. It's one of our two resources here in the library. Um, the Academic Success Center focuses on mentorship and workshops for our students so they can be as successful as they can be, but also they do tutoring in all of our core classes. On this floor, on the second floor, we have the Writing Center. So if you are someone who needs help with writing or just wants to get some opinions on your writing, you can take essays, paragraphs, really any form of writing to the Writing Center and work with the student to help maybe help you with grammatical errors or anything just to overlook that paper. We also have Zach's Brews on the second floor. So if you like coffee and you like local coffee, you can get it here at Zach's Brews. They get local coffee from places around Statesboro and stuff like that. And they do a great job of making sure students are caffeinated for when it comes to finals week. Um, and then also just making sure that we're very energized for our studying. We are here in the Recreation Activity Center, or RAC for short. It's our school's gym. On this side, we have the Aquatic Center, which has an indoor lap pool, a diving center, a hot tub, and a sauna. And outside is our recreational pool. On this side, we have the weights. So you have free weights, machines, any kind of weight that you need to get those arms stronger. Upstairs, we have our cardio floor. So that's treadmills, ellipticals, an indoor track. We have intramural sports here at Georgia Southern. So you're thinking football, baseball, um, soccer, if you're more for the fun. If you're interested in the competition side, we have club sports to include soccer, football, volleyball. And also we have a club cornhole team, which has appeared on ESPN. So here at the rack, we have all kinds of courts. We have volleyball, basketball, dodgeball, and even racquetball. And you don't need to worry about bringing any equipment. We have the CRI that stands for Campus Recreation and Intramurals. And with them, you can rent all the equipment that you need. So you can have frisbees, boxing gloves, balls for any kinds of course you have. And right behind us, we have Southern Adventures. It's one of the amenities that we offer here at the Rack, and it focuses on outside adventures. So behind us, we have a bouldering and climbing wall, but Southern Adventures also allows you to rent camping equipment. So if you need tents, backpacking bags, or anything like that, you can rent them for a certain period of time. They also offer trips a couple of times a semester, and they are really cheap, and they go all around the Southeast for camping, kayaking, and hiking. On top of everything we've mentioned about the rack, we have to talk about group fitness classes. We offer classes in yoga, Zumba, cardio, and even spinning. But if you want a more detailed schedule about what we offer every day, you can check it out at recreation.georgiasouthern.edu. And we have one more stop on our tour, and I really think you guys are gonna enjoy this one. Now, for our last stop in our tour, I welcome you to the prettiest little stadium in America, the Allen E. Paulson Stadium. As you can see behind us, Coach Irk Russell's name is plastered on the stadium because he was the coach from 82 to 89 and was responsible for three out of six of our national championship winnings. He is also the person responsible for coining the phrases GATA and one more time. At every home game, before the game starts, you will actually see our life eagle, Freedom, fly across the stadium. His handler, Steve, stands right here, and he will start flying from all over there and go across the stadium, and it is an amazing opportunity to just get to see that. But I truly do recommend that you attend the tailgates before the game. A lot of families come, and they barbecue and hang out and just celebrate um, the family before our game starts. We want to thank you for coming into this tour with us today. I hope you enjoyed it. We enjoyed so much showing you our beautiful campus. We hope to see you on campus soon, but until then, go Eagles. Hail Southern.